finally we got both of them going at the same time. That's good. Welcome back to the channel guys. We are going to continue on with the Skyline. Let's uh, unlock it, fix the mirror on the other side and get the door guard back together. So you might be able to tell it's not sitting properly. Can you get the gasket sitting properly so it couldn't bolt up properly? So let's fix that. Alright, let's get this door card back on. Finally. Connect that. We need to connect the speaker. That goes on first, I believe. Yeah, one's broken. The clip. Right, slowly getting it back together. Um, this bit uh, is a little bit bent out because it's sitting on the back seat. So once the door's closed, it'll sit in there and it'll straighten back out. Let's get the uh, window controls back in. That will mean the window will drop down when I open the door now. That's good. And then we'll get these in. All right, that door card is on. Hey, yes. Let's do the driver's side. We need a good, clean. It's not good. All right, let's get it. The trim on. And we'll get the switches on. It's really hard. One hand, three guys. Here we go. Locked. Ah, I forgot to put that on. All right. Battery's flat, so let's get the black fuzz out here. Might do a couple of things to the black fuzz while I'm out here too. Jump start this. I want to wash it, clean it up, give it a vacuum. Need to spray it with something. It's been sitting too long. Probably have spiders. Okay, so it doesn't look like um, getting the black fuzz out here because the gate is a new post and it doesn't swing past 90 degrees so we can't get a car in everything will have to be cleared out here just to get a car to get this out i wouldn't be able to get a car in past so what i might do is get that battery out and chuck it in the forester because the forester doesn't need much to get started this needs a bit more to crank. Alright guys, I'm not going to change batteries. I'm going to get a new battery for the Forester. And then, batteries in the boot if you didn't know. Then I'll just jump and start this one. So, yeah. It's fun. I'll uh, get the vacuum out and just clean up this side a bit. Okay, so because this battery isn't going to come out, I'm going to leave it in here. I'll have to get another negative terminal for forest paper because that's that one. And I need to put the battery stay in there and tie down. So pop this one off, get this out, and I'll put it back in. It's just over here on the bench. So those three. Actually, got, I think I got this out of a missing teeter. Alright, battery tie down, it's on, just going to clean off this cowl a little bit and put it all back together. Alright, I'll come back when I get the battery for the Forester, so I can jump start it and get it out. Clean it up, maybe put it up for sale and just keep working on it. Alright guys, pick up a new battery and negative terminal. So. Let's get that into the back of the Forester. 
There we go. New batteries in. Can't really tell. Sorry, guys. Yeah, she's in. We'll get everything back in. We might start it up tonight, but not just now. There you go. Make some dinner, and then we'll come back. All right, guys. It's the next day. I'm going to start the Forester jump start the Skyline. And I might just I'll move it across here so we can still work around it but yeah <laughs> I can get the red forester out once this stuff's gone. Right, haven't started the fuzz for a while. Probably it's not mouldy in there as well. Right, got jump cables over there, new battery. Flat battery, let's start the fuzz. Oh, this needs a wash. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there's some keys. Fuzz keys. <sighs> Alright, should start up straight away. New battery. Nice. Chain start up pretty good. Right. <laughs> it just reaches. So she starts. Should start. Here we go. Finally, we got both of them going at the same time. That's good. Right. Oh, I can hear the turbo. Okay. I need to get this out and clean it up and drive it. Next episode, guys, I'll take this for a drive. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.